Today we will study the topic how to make class boundaries from class limits or class intervals and this concept is important to solve the questions in statistics and making the graphs like histograms. How to make the class boundaries from the class interval? Now we have three class intervals. Number one has the values 28 and 30 where 30 is the lower class limit and 28 is the upper class limit of first class interval. 31 and 33, 31 is upper class limit, 33 is the lower class limit and 34 and 36, 34 is the upper class limit and 36 is the lower class limit. Now we have to follow some steps in order to make the class boundaries what we will do we will subtract the upper class limit of the second class interval from the lower class limit of the first class interval 31 minus 30 we get 1 now we will divide this number with 2 we get 0.5 now what we will do we will subtract 0.5 from the upper class limits and we will add 0.5 into the value of the lower class limit in order to make the class boundaries. Now you can see here class limit was 28 and 30, class boundaries 27.5 by subtracting 0.5 from 28 we get 27.5 by adding 0.5 and 30 we get 30.5, 30.5 30 and 33.5, 31 minus 0.5 30.5 33 plus 0.5 33.5 and 34 and 36 34 minus 0 0.5 33.5 36 plus 0 0.5 36.5 in this way we have made the class boundaries now when the class intervals are in decimals then how we will make the class boundaries we will follow the same steps now the class interval is given point, uh, 0.25 2.75, 0 0.8 to 1.30. Now we will follow the same steps. We will subtract 0 0.8 from 0 0.75. We get 0 0.05. We divide it with 2. We get 0 0.025. Now what we will do? We will subtract it from the upper class interval and we will add it in the lower class interval values to make the class boundaries. Now you can see here 0 0.5 minus 0 0.025 we get 0 0.225 as, as the uh, upper class boundary and 0 0.75 plus 0 0.025 we get 0 0.775 as the lower class boundary. In the same way 0.8 minus 0.025 we get 0.775 and 1.30 plus 0.025 we get 1.325 in this way we have made the class intervals into uh, converted them into class boundaries by following these steps that we will subtract the upper class limit from the lower class limit then we will divide it by 2 and then we will uh, subtract that value from the upper class limits and we add it in the lower class limits to make the class boundaries hope you have understood the concept thank you